What's going on chickies, it's Baron here. Today we're going to be going over the Argo Raft, obviously the new ship that has just been released straight to Flyball and we're going to be going over whether or not you should buy it. But before you get into it, don't forget the T16000 dual stick giveaway, hashtag sticks if you've already entered, don't have to enter again. Become a channel member or patron to get more entries depending on level, depends on how many entries you get. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. So we're going to get into it and we're going to talk a, bit, a little bit about this ship and whether or not you should buy it. Now there's obviously a lot of more ships that are out there at the moment that are better. But if you want an LTI token, this would be definitely a good ship to get uh, with War Bond at the moment. So think about that. Take into consideration. You don't have to do it. It's just a little bit of uh, advice that I would put upon you. So whether or not you want this ship, it's going to play a little bit of a role in this game. And it's actually going to hold the containers off uh, and that go into a banning merchantman. So take that into consideration as well. It also has 96 SCU. So that is another consideration to take in. So that would mean that it would hold, what is that? 32, three of these cargo containers that go into a Banu merchantman. And I keep using Banu merchantman is because, you know, it's it goes into the Banu merchantman. So the components behind this ship for the avionics and the systems, one size two radar, two times size two computers, one size two power plant, two times size two coolers, two one size two shield. Now for propulsion, you have two size two fuel intakes, three size two fuel tanks, one size two quantum drive, one size two jump module, three size, well, actually no, you would have one, quite three, quantum fuel tanks that's interesting now it doesn't actually say the size of them which is also very interesting but i would guess that they would be about a size two a size three maybe a medium i'm not a hundred percent sure but that's actually quite a fair bit of quantum fuel there now it does cost 125 100 yeah original is 125 it's around 110 on war bond if you were to buy it with war bond it's 40 meters long has a 23 meter beam and 40 meters high has a combat speed of 135 ms max speed of 840 and weighs 1.1 1 .1, well 1 million 169,686 kilos now if you were to really look up any information on this ship there is a little bit out there you do have a q a giving you a little bit more in-depth detail on this ship now whether or not again you need a ship like this you probably don't but i know a lot of you are going to get it because it's one of the new uh obviously concept ships that got put straight to flyball but well, didn't even get time to be a concept so what does raft stand for it is an acronym for reinforced advanced freight transport so just let that think about sinking a little bit now it said why would someone choose the raft over something like a freelancer max what are the unique capabilities of this ship compared to its competitors now when they actually talk about this ship they say the raft is designed well designed to uh, more to compete more against the base freelancer than the max however it holds its own in that it's designed from the ground up to support the quick loading and unloading of standardized 32 SCU cargo crates while you can of course fit these into the max it may takes a much longer time due to its relativity relatively narrow opening now before we actually get onto it um for the weapons for the i think the pilot it has two size ones for turrets it has one size five which are two times size three and it obviously has that utility point for the containers now, it says, is it possible to lift and detach preloaded containers with the holding device at the ship's rear, thus gaining a time advantage when loading and unloading cargo? While it's not impl implemented at release, this is the aim when cargo requires physical loading and unloading. So I guess it would be, I don't know if you'd be able to use it for the crates of the whole series. But it would be very interesting to see that. Now it says the cargo containers that the raft can hold are the ones that are on the cargo decks of the space station. So yeah, the standardized 32 SCU. It says, will it be able to accommodate the containers carried by the Miss Hull series? The Miss Hull and above series 32 SCU containers as a raft as their minimum equivalent sizable container. So... I guess, yeah, the whole C and R will be able to hold, it says. So, do I have access to the contents of the cargo containers from within the raft? There is no physical access to the cargo, cargo containers from within the raft. Once they're loaded, unless you physically exit the ship, you cannot access them. What is the second player's role on this two-person ship? The second player can use the remote turret for defense or undertake engineering repair roles when necessary. 
while the pilot concentrates on flying. Is this ship supposed to be a long range cargo hull of or a short range cargo vessel? Is the ship equipped with adequate crew compartments? The ship has adequate facilities on board for the crew with beds, a bathroom, breakout area and food making facilities allowing the crew to tackle a wide range of hauling routes. So it tells me a little bit of information there. It's not like a great deal. Now it also says how does the armor compare to other cargo ships in its class. The raft itself is more armored and than other um, comparable cargo ships such as a freelancer and cutlass which have greater offensive firepower as an offset. So obviously this has more armor as an offset than more firepower if you get what I mean. Does the Argo raft have a tractor beam uh, capable of moving car cargo containers as seen on cargo decks and where does it sit? Yes, the tractor beam sits at the rear of the ship to aid the loading and unloading. Now I'm going to guess that's what that utility point is. Can the tractor beam be used to tow a ship or is it limited to cargo containers only? The tractor beam is designed to move only cargo containers so unless a vehicle has the same volume or mass as a cargo container it won't be able to be towed. Now I'm going to guess it's smaller than the SRV um, tractor beam as well because that is a size 3 so I'm going to guess it's like a size 2 or so. Now you can't fit a small vehicle in this obviously it only has that personnel um, elevator to get in. And now what are those four pads above the, the pilot seat? They're nothing, they're just aesthetics. And that's pretty much all the information that we have on this ship. So I'll give you guys a walk around of this ship, have a look inside. If you do want to get it, you can get three exclusive skins. I'm going to guess that they won't be available anymore after this sale. they will be something to come out with the original concept. So if you want that, I would go and get those skins. Even if you don't want the ship, I would get those skins because it won't be something you'll be able to get later on. Obviously, it'll be just for this sale. But if you're really interested in more about this ship, um, you can go into a little bit more um, depth with it, uh, going in game and sort of asking the developers questions, doing your own research, because there's obviously not a lot out there as it has just been released. And I'm going to guess a lot of people are going to be flying it. So this has been a should you buy on this ship? I would, I wouldn't suggest that you would need it. If you want to get it, you can, but again, it's not really a necessity. It's not something you really going to absolutely need. So whether or not you really do want it or need it, I wouldn't really worry about it. But this has been Baron, and it's been a deep dive on the raft. I'll see you in the verse.